Do you ever wonder about other cultures and their traditions? What they celebrate, when they celebrate, with whom do they celebrate, but also how their celebrations differ from America's? Well, today we are going to discuss Honduras and its Christmas tradition, including gifts, food, and decor. Just some background information on Honduras. Honduras is located in Central America. For those who don't know where Central America is, it is the most southern part of North America that connects us to South America. Central America consists of Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Panama. It is bordered by the Pacific Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, Mexico, and Colombia. Honduras originally was inhabited by many indigenous tribes. The most prominent of those tribes were the Mayans. After the Mayan civilization failed, a series of struggles began for those thereafter. I have set aside a brief timeline to inform you on more of Honduras' history. This timeline was found at Honduras.com slash history. In 1502, Christopher Columbus stepped foot on Spain's soil. In 1525, Spain began conquest of Honduras. In 1539, Spain gained the territory of Honduras. In 1810, Honduras overthrew its own king. In 1821, they became independent and then joined the Mexican Empire. In 1823, they broke away from the Mexican Empire and then joined the FRCA, or Federal Republic of Central America, which included Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. In 1840, the FRCA broke up and they became fully independent. According to Wikipedia's experts, Honduras' population is now around 8 million and is known for its tropical fruit, sugar cane, production of minerals, and coffee. Its current capital is Tegucigalpa, and its most prominent religion is Catholic. Now that I have introduced Honduras, I will now pass it on to another one of my group members. This Christmas holiday is a very important part of the traditional family life to the Honduran culture. The majority of the population is Catholic, so Christmas is a time when the story of Joseph and Mary is told throughout the community. The story of Joseph and Mary is told by the elders of the, is told by the elders throughout the community nine days before Christmas. Christmas is celebrated in a very traditional manner. Christmas dinner is served at midnight on December 24th and is a very important part of the celebration. The traditional Christmas dinner includes roasted pork leg, tamales, and a sweet dessert called tajeras. The Tejeras is a biscuit with an egg glaze, fried cinnamon, and brown sugar. According to Honduras.com, snack tamales are also a very important part of the Honduran Christmas gastronomy. Snack tamales are served with horchata, which is basically a rice water with cinnamon sugar, and this is served before the Christmas dinner. Snack tamales is the oldest form of Honduran food. Gifts are also a very important aspect of the Honduran Christmas. The gifts are passed out at midnight right before dinner is served. They can be bare minimal to extravagant depending on where you live in Honduras. The children always receive a set of new clothes and new shoes. If the children receive toys or any electronics, if the, they have it, they will receive these gifts by the godparents. As for us in the U.S., the children receive gifts from mothers, fathers, friends, and whoever they may know. The children in Honduras are not as fortunate as we are in the U.S. to receive as many gifts as we do for Christmas. Now I will pass it on to Grace. Two more equally important aspects of a Honduran Christmas are the decor and traditional celebrations. Many of the homes in Honduras are decorated behind walls that surround the homes. 
This is similar to the United States, except people in the United States put lots of expensive decorations out and don't worry about them getting stolen. However, Honduras is a very poor country, so around festive times and holidays, many of the decorations have a high possibility of getting stolen. If the family cannot afford to decorate their homes, their homes may be painted instead. Unlike in the United States, Honduras has no place to go to buy a real Christmas tree. So if a family can afford a, re a tree, they will have to buy an official, artificial tree. During this time, it is also common to see many families going out and decorating palm trees near their homes, like the one in this picture. Like in most cultures, many traditions are followed during Christmas time, and the Honduran culture is no exception. The first tradition is the celebration of the Posadas, which translated to English means the beginning. This is a tradition that is done nine days before Christmas, and groups of family and friends go around carrying a homemade nativity scene. Each night, the group visits three different homes. The first two homes will refuse the group and not give them room and board. The third home accepts the group, and the nativity scene is then placed in the home until the next night when the whole process starts over. Rompopo is served to the group, as well as sweets and biscuits. Rompopo is an eggnog drink with a type of Honduran rum named Guaro mixed in. This tradition is done in order to remember the Christian story of Joseph, Mary, and the birth of baby Jesus, and their inability to find room in the inn in Bethlehem. Another tradition is Las Posadas, which translated to English means the final night. This is when all the family members gather at each other's houses for the night. At midnight before the dinner is served, they all go outside to gather around and pray in front of the home. While doing this, they give thanks to God for letting them see another Christmas and making it through the year. They then shoot off fireworks and guns beginning at midnight and continuing until early the next morning. Punch-up music, which is a type of Honduran music, is also played throughout the night until early the next morning. The traditional drink for Popo is also served throughout the day to the adults. This tradition sounds much like the American celebrations of New Year's and Independence Day, where people will stay up late drinking and shooting off fireworks until wee hours of the morning. However, the Honduran way seems much more family-oriented and civilized. This is Honduras.com says, For Hondurans, Christmas is a very special and emotional occasion and is important to spend it with the family. This is different from the United States where Christmas has become more commercialized and less about Jesus and family. Through the Honduran culture has been recently influenced by Western society, they seem to hold true to their traditions where family is one of the most important things, which I think is incredible. Now for our conclusion. Christmas is a very important time of the year in Honduras. It is a time where family and friends get together and rejoice. And since most of the community is Catholic, this is a time to enjoy spreading the story of Mary and Joseph and the birth of Jesus. Christmas is a family tradition the Hondurans adopted from the Western society. Hondurans celebrate Christmas with a dinner and gifts, just like we do in America, only with different food and presents. And they also celebrate on December 24th instead of December 25th. Hondurans uh, decorate, but only on the interior of the home due to thieves, and sometimes they paint walls if they cannot afford to buy decorations. According to HondurasWeekly.com, there is no place to buy pine trees in Honduras, so if the family can afford it, they buy an artificial tree. And some families even decorate palm trees near their home. The celebration of Prostatas, which means the beginning, is a tradition done nine days before Christmas each night. They visit three houses and are rejected by the first two in remembrance of Mary and Joseph finding no room in Bethlehem. Las Posadas, which means the final day, they visit each other's house at midnight. They go outside and pray and give thanks, and also pop fireworks, shoot guns, and play Honduran music in the streets. And throughout the next day, they drink a Western eggnog with Guaro Honduran rum. In conclusion, Hondurans celebrate Christmas different in the way of their special celebration of Posadas and Las Posadas, and a day earlier than Americans, and alike in the sense of celebrating the story of Mary and Joseph and celebrating the birth of Jesus, spending time with family and friends with gifts and food. Are there any questions? What countries border Honduras? 
The countries that border Honduras are Guatemala and Nicaragua. The water bases that surround it are the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. Are the decorations that they use in Honduras similar to those they use in the United States? Yes, as seen in the picture I showed, they use similar lights and wreaths and ribbon. Um, do they use the same colors as we do in the United States? In Honduras, they don't have any standard Christmas colors as we over, as we do over here, which is like red, green, and white. They have like very loud colors, which can be yellow, blue, purple, pink. And they use those colors for inside the home, outside the home, and as well on the taxi boats that they have over there. Is there any other questions? Is it is it hot year round out there in Honduras? In Honduras, the during the during December and January is very rainy. Very rainy. Yes. Are there any okay. other questions? No. Okay. Well, that concludes our presentation on Christmas in Honduras. Thank you all.